Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about vasomotor rhinitis. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The word vasomotor means relating to the constriction or dilatation of blood vessels. Vasomotor rhinitis is a form of non-allergic rhinitis. That is, vasomotor rhinitis is inflammation of the inner part of the nose that is not caused by an allergy. Vasomotor rhinitis usually persists throughout the year and all the tests for nasal allergy are negative in cases of vasomotor rhinitis. Now let us see about the pathogenesis of vasomotor rhinitis. Nasal mucosa has rich blood supply. Sympathetic stimulation of these vessels causes vasoconstriction and shrinkage of mucosa. Parasympathetic stimulation causes vasodilation and engorgement. Overactivity of parasympathetic system causes excessive secretion from nasal glands. The autonomic nervous system is unstable in cases of vasomotor rhinitis. The nasal mucosa is therefore unstable and responds to several non-specific stimuli such as change in temperature, humidity, blasts of air, small amounts of dust or smoke, etc. Now, what are the symptoms of vasomotor rhinitis? Paroxysmal sneezing, excessive rhinorrhea, nasal obstruction, and postnasal drip are the chief symptoms of vasomotor rhinitis. What are the signs of vasomotor rhinitis? Nasal mucosa over turbinates is congested and hypertrophic. Now let us see about the complications of vasomotor rhinitis. If vasomotor rhinitis is not treated properly, it can lead to nasal polypi, hypertrophic rhinitis, and sinusitis. Now let us see about the medical treatment for vasomotor rhinitis. Avoidance of physical factors which provoke symptoms like sudden change in temperature, humidity, blasts of air or dust, etc. can help the patient to remain free of symptoms. Antihistaminics and oral nasal decongestants can be given. Topical steroids can also be prescribed to the patient. Systemic steroids can be given. Now coming to the surgical treatment of vasomotor rhinitis. Surgical measures can be done to reduce the size of nasal turbinates to relieve symptoms. Causes of nasal obstruction like polyp, deviated nasal septum, etc. should be corrected. In severe cases, vidian neurectomy can be done. Vidian neurectomy is a procedure which involves sectioning the parasympathetic secretomotor fibers to nose. This will be helpful in cases of excessive rhinorrhea. Thank you.